20 years ago, a book written by Taslima Nasreen was banned for insulting Islam. The author went into exile. But today, at the Hay Festival in Dhaka, the written word is experiencing a revival. The hopeful thing is that there has been no censorship lately in Bangladesh. And all these books that you are calling controversial, they're available right here. And on the grounds of Bangla Academy, which is uh, an official institution. So we haven't gone into the old way that we did with Taslima Nasreen, ban, ban, ban. The Hay Festival allows homegrown talent to interact with a more global audience. Here we got to meet authors from other countries. We got to talk to them and exchange ideas. This brings in new perspectives and our country needs this. The event is an opportunity for Bangladeshi bookworms to get their first exposure to the giants of world literature. And that includes a native son. Zia Haider Rahman's debut novel, In the Light of What We Know, has been well received internationally. Zia was born in a village in northeast Bangladesh. He reckons he wouldn't have achieved what he has if he had remained there. I wonder about it all the time. I carry another Zia inside me all the time. I'm very lucky in life, extremely lucky. Um, my parents moved to Britain and I had opportunities. So I'm very conscious of how random luck has, how it shapes every human life, and in particular mine. Having grown up in poverty, Zia admits he's a bit uncomfortable being surrounded by Dhaka's intelligentsia. The Hay Festival is attended mostly by members of Bangladesh's elite, but the Nilkhet book market brings literature to the masses. And the owners of these bookstores are fans of the event, even though they're not sure about its impact. These festivals are a good thing, but their benefits are seasonal. When there's a book fair, there's suddenly more interest among the public, but a few weeks later, it's gone. Not everyone would say that's necessarily bad. If the Hay Festival raises interest in reading, even if it lasts only a short time, a lot of book lovers would consider that a success. Mahir Sattar, Al Jazeera, Dhaka.